this is episode 130 of my Let's Play series. What are we going to be doing today? Well, we're actually going to be starting a new farm. Well, I did promise last episode, didn't I, we'll be starting a brand new farm. I was not sure what farm we'll be starting. So, I've gone ahead and chosen... Um, so uh, we were, we're good. Well, these are the two farms that I was going to do. Well, I'm still doing. I just not. I'm doing it in the order that I want to do. So um, I was going to build a massive slime farm. Try find the biggest slime chunk around here I possibly can and dig it all out. That is one of them, which is quite easy. I'm digging it out. We've got a beacon now, so come on, that will be pretty damn quick. Dig out. Probably do that in a live stream. Probably another American live stream. So yeah, got to do that sometime. Um, and a mushroom farm. Um, so I've gone ahead and actually chosen the mushroom farm for now because it shouldn't take any more than a few episodes to finish uh, because it's not it's not going to be a massive mushroom farm. It's going to be, yeah, the, the mushroom itself is going to be massive, massive because I'm actually going to recreate one of my old farms which was a mushroom farm built inside a giant mushroom. So that's pretty much what I'll be doing. Um, yeah, so we'll be building pretty much a giant mushroom Probably on the mainland. Uh, I don't know if you... Yeah, you're not going to be able to see from me. So probably over here somewhere, you'll be just see this giant mushroom, probably top of it in the sky or something. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it from me. I shouldn't say that because you might be. You might not be. Um, yeah, so pretty much we're going to build a giant mushroom and inside the top of the giant mushroom, we're going to have the actual farm itself. Now, it's going to be... It's not going to be a huge farm. Don't get me wrong. It's not going to be a massive farm. You can't fit much inside a giant uh, mushroom head. Because the shape is all weird, you don't have much room to play, and plus they changed how um, mushrooms work a long time ago. I actually haven't played with mushrooms in, I think it's almost two years now, and they've literally changed the the how the, they spread and everything else and uh, all sorts of stuff. I'm gonna have to go read up about it before we actually play with the with the actual farm and inside itself. Um, this episode, I'm hoping to get most of the giant mushroom complete. We'll see. We'll see. Um, we'll see how far I get. Um, yeah. So that that's what I'm planning anyway. But this, I, I just, I'm just, just saying that the uh, the mushroom farm inside the giant mushroom is not going to be that huge. We're going to have a few cells inside there, like growing cells, uh, brown mushrooms and red mushrooms. That's what I want. Now, reason why I want brown mushrooms is I want it for the purifying. I need brown mushrooms to make uh, potions of weakness and other potions and. Um, so, yeah, I really, really need to get this going because I've got plenty of sticky pistons. And that's all I need slime for right now is sticky pistons. Got plenty of sticky pistons. Well, not plenty. I'll say a few stacks of sticky pistons. Don't really need to stress out about it right now. I But I am stressed out because I want to fill up my my um, purifying station. Because, um, yeah, for a few uh, upcoming projects, I'm going to need more farmers. And I'm going to build the recycler, which a few episodes ago we did actually... Do some work down there, which we'll go back to. Don't get me wrong, we'll go back to. People have been messaging me, go, "What are you? What's going on down there?" They didn't understand what I was going on about last time. All right. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Let's get. I've been blubbering on. Let's uh, um, come down here for a sec. Um, so I'll be building out of wool. Um, now a few episodes ago, we built a string farm. If you didn't know, if you put a, a string in a square, it will make one wall block. Now, I built a jewel spawner string farm. So pretty much what I do is I, when I go to sleep to upload, because, you know, for me, I got slow internet. It takes me all night to upload one of these Let's Play episodes. So I just stick stick my character in there and let the farm go and fill up chests and chests of string, convert them to wool, and I've got two entire boxes of wool. Now, yes, I know you're going to tell me data. It's probably not going to be enough for a giant mushroom. I know that. I know that. I'm... A little bit stressed about that, actually. Well, this entire box should be red wool, but I ran out of time, pretty much bone milling and, and picking up poppies. Um, that's pretty much all I've, I've been doing to get this red wool. Uh, so I might build myself one of those mini, uh, mini freaking flower farms again. You pretty much stand on the pressure plate and it, it sends out a pulse and, the, and you just hold down, click and bone mill the crap out of the ground. Pretty much, that, that's... That's pretty much it. So it's easy to get uh, poppies anyway for the for the red roses for the to dye the wool. But yeah, I just I just thought I'll explain that. So yeah, this ain't enough, guys. This is not enough. I'll probably have to do more AFKing, but it should be enough to get us started. That's the key goal here. So we're gonna go ahead and um, I'm gonna take a few out straight off the bat. 
quite a few actually. We're gonna just take a bunch out because we're gonna go find a location for this giant mushroom we're gonna be building. And um, we're gonna go from there. And yes, yes, look, I got rid of all the miscellaneous chests. Woohoo! And and we did a lot of um yeah, so that's all done. <laughs> People will be like, Data, they were driving me up the wall telling me to 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 do that. And I've got to fix that hole up there. I was uh, crawling around in the ceiling trying to get a slime that was quite annoying. <laughs> I'm trying to half slab back there, right? This, which is funny. I want a slime farm, yet this entire storage room is a slime chunk. <laughs> Crikey! So I got a brand new pick, and it's night time. Great, fantastic! It's night time. So let's go upstairs and go to sleep because we don't want to go running around, obviously, with nasties running around. Uh, up we go. All right. So yeah, bedroom works great. Um, people will message me saying uh, the bed might be uh, obstructed because of the wall carpet. No, it's not. I've I've actually already died, and no, it is not in uh, uh, like yeah, screwing with my bedroom any at any. Anyway, okay. So oh, we can get a good view from here anyway. So I can either put this giant mushroom in here, this nice clear clear part there. Oh, not going over there. There's a bloody swamp. We could put it up here because I've got plans for this forest. Um, no, I don't want to put it. I don't want to put it too far. Out the front of my base is probably the best spot for this um, giant mushroom. So let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Why is there a horse down here? Better not be one of mine. Whoops! Did I just hurt that horse? Probably wandered on in. Stupid horse. Okie dokie. Alright. Oh, that's looking sexy. Woohoo! The more things I add in the water, the better. It just, it seems to be, you know, coming together. You know, I'm trying to put all my farms within a close um, area of my main farm. And I just love the outline of the, the giant laser cannon doom mob farm thingy <laughs> That is awesome. Alright. So it's time to actually start doing a little bit of work in the mainland, hey? So this is going to be interesting. Um, all right. I'm going to have a look over here real quick. Make sure there's uh, no nasties underneath the trees. They seem to survive. Hey, cows. Hmm. I was just thinking it would be cool to to put it on a little island. Um, you know, and have a little a bridge over it. How how cute would that be? Ooh, brown mushrooms and actually need these guys so score for me moo okay so let's go check this island out real quick so it's possible i might actually no it's too small i could make them out i could i could literally just get dirt and start filling it all in i suppose or wait a second wait a second i've got an id I have an idea. So, we might be able to just clear this little forest here, and then we can just cut a slit canal in here, like a, a custom made river, and then I won't have to jack up that little island here. This will, where we're standing is going to be a little island for it. I'm just going to go ahead and get started. Screw that. Let's just go ahead and get started. Um, so, oh, oh, I wanted to mention too get out of the way, you blooming cow like burgers right there um so i wanted to mention that the world save actually has been updated woohoo finally yay i said that last episode i said i i told you guys i said oh, i've got to update the world save and i did it i actually did it last episode but you know i um yeah so i got the link all prepared that's that's in the description if you want to uh, um i don't want to get rid of the mushrooms I'll sacrifice some torches. I want I want to keep the wood. So um, yeah, world save has been updated to this 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 bit here. So you know, go for it if you want to download it. Just just thought I'd give you guys a heads up. So yeah, well download, ready to go. Fantastic. I thought I think I'm gonna clear this out and I will be right back in a sec and then we'll get to. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> he was just like staring off at the distance like, hmm, that mountain looks good over there. That mountain does look good over there. Hmm. I've got to go do some more exploring in this area. Everybody's like, Data, don't explore until 1.8 so you can, yeah, whatever. All right, guys, I will be right back once I've cleared this whole area out.
Alrighty then guys, I am back and as you can see I've oh Okay, I've cleared out most of it. All right get off my back <laughs> Crikey, so as you can see I've cleared out most of it and uh, went and slept in the bed So sun's just coming out and I had some nasty issues. I had to run home with um, So oh and I've created some chests and I've been storing the stuff like the wood and obviously everything I get um, Can I get that? Just use wool to get up to it. Okay. All right. Good stuff. Oh my god. I thought an axe would get through wool like no tomorrow. I guess shears. I should have brought some shears out. So that would have been nice. Okay. So. All right. Um, I'm just gonna. Hmm, just gonna. What am I gonna do? Do I start here? I think here would be nice. Around about here. What have we got? We got plenty of space over there. So we could... St Sorry. I'm just planning in my head. You guys know me already. There's lots of gears turning in my head. Going over. Planning. That's that's the whole key goal here. Doing stuff on the fly. Alright, let's do this. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two, three, four, five. Holy smokes. This might be a tad too big. Yeah, but then this is meant to be a giant mushroom, so it's meant to be fat. Really fat. We could bring it back a couple, I suppose. Ah, oh, screw it. We'll just dig some more of this out and have to chop some more. Chop more water. Because as long as there's no, uh, like, you know, hippies trained to the heat trees, we'll be fine. Okay, let's uh, improvise. Shovel of Doom for the win. For the win. Um... Okay, so one, two. So I guess I'm gonna, if I'm gonna put a water canal in here later on, I'm gonna have to dig, do some digging. That's all good. That's decoration stage. I'm not too worried about that. Let's just get this out of the way for now. Um, because, you know, this is definitely gonna be in the way, so it has to be annihilated. I don't, I don't really have a, a, a pickaxe of doom. Decent pickaxe. I do have a decent pick. Well, everybody's probably like, thank you, Data, for bringing your pickaxe. Seriously. I always forget it. Always forget it. I'm not joking. Always do. Always get told off by fans. Okay. So, what we'll do here is just keep cutting these trees down. And this should be the last one of it anyway. Is that it? That's it. Yay, that's it. Woo! Okay, so that should do. Is that going? Yeah, that's going. Now, all right. Good stuff. Back to it. Where's the wall? The white wall. Okay, so... Two. One, two. One, two. There we go. Uh, what are we up to? Oh, yeah. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. One, two. Whoa, we're just... We're cutting it really close, aren't we? One, two, three, four, five... Uh, one, two, one, two, one, two. There we go. Fantastic. So what we're going to go... If you're following me at home right now, building your own giant mushroom, uh, let's go ahead. Um, go ahead and bring this up. Hmm, how far do we want to go up? Let's let's have a quick squiz. So that'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fourteen. 15, 16. Perfect. Just above the tree lines. And it's nice and fat. Like the stump part is really fat. And then the huge overhang is probably going to hang right over this entire place. It's probably going to look pretty gorgeous. I'm not 100% sure there. Um, how are we going to get back down, you fruit loop? Geronimo! Phew! Okay, so 16. If you're following at home and you've just you've, you've did this circle, 16. So go up by 16. I'm going to go ahead and do that quickly off camera so we can uh, cut a little bit more out and get some work done. Alrighty then, guys. I am back. And, um, yeah, we're up to... Actually, I've went one high, to be honest. Uh, so everybody's probably... Yeah, I went one more high. So it was 16, I said. Uh, so I went 17. So one more block higher. Uh, I just thought I'd mention that because, you know, people do follow my builds, you know, back... Um, on the, on their single player world, and I want them to get all the measurements right as well. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next thing, which is the the um the the bottom of the round bit of the the head of the mushroom. Um, 
so what I've done is I've already got the measurements. I have all the measurements necessary to make this uh, center this time. Because if you know if you're a long time subscriber, you would have realized my original giant mushroom that I built a long time ago was actually not even centered. So it was lopsided by two blocks, and obviously I wasn't going to tear the whole thing down and redo it, was I? It was it was a stupid thing. So this time I've done all the counting, all the measurements, and everything. So. Um, uh, what I'm going to do is leave a link in the description to plots, which which that's obviously what I normally use for, for round objects. It's a really good guide right there. You guys know that already. I'm going to leave the uh, link in the description for a for the measurements for plots for this big round thing. And uh, hopefully that helps you guys out. So what we're going to do now is uh, we're actually going to... I've gone home, I've got some red wool and, you know, I've slept. It's nearly midday. I've already wasted some time. Um, so what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be coming out by by f by 16 from here so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen and the last one's gonna be red because that's the outer sixteen there we go. So I'm going to go, we're going to get that done on all the sides really quickly because this is how I'm going to, to, holy smokes, that's not good. That is not good. Crikey. All right, I'm going to have to use some good old dirt scaffolding. Okay, so this is how we're going to make sure it's centered. So this is 16. The red is the 16th block. We're going to quickly do this on all sides. Well, got to be careful, Data. Okay, so again, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Which was that was a mistake because that's meant to be red. Red. All right, good stuff. Do this side as well. Sorry, guys. I'm just making sure I do this part on camera just to show you guys. Um, you know, I'm you know building the this giant mushroom on camera. Yeah. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Hopefully that didn't feel right to me, but hopefully that is. One last time side and we can get started on the round. Um, big round disc thingamajig that will start the bottom off as i said I, I got not enough red wool to finish the tops in this episode which is so sad i really wanted to get the whole mushroom finished this episode but hey what are you gonna do okay so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen and again should be a red block okay then all right all right all right all right so this should be it this this is a moment of truth these all these red dots here on each of the corners should actually meet up when i'm doing the circle so remember the circle i'm giving you like the 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 actual di diameter of the circle is in the link in the description i'll i'll leave if i haven't left it there just just post something in the comments and i'll i'll fix that up as soon as i can so we're going to go ahead and get started on this. I'm going to try. All right. So what we're going to do, we need nine. We need, uh, this is a niner. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So that should be it. All right, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to, yeah, we're going to go, just just go around. All right, so, all right, so I'm going to use dirt for the interior. One, two, three. Uh, one, two, three, four. It's four, and then it's uh, dirt again. Well, the dirt is just to help place the blocks. You get rid of that later on. One, two, dirt, one. Two and that looks about right. Yep, 
That is looking fantastic. One, two, because it's three twos, and then a one. No, it should, yeah, that sounds right. Yep, no, that sounds right. Okay, so it's three twos, then a one. Whoop, dirt. See, dirt's good for something. Well, dirt's actually good for a lot of things, but hey. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, so one, two, three. And um, I think it's, it it has to be, it's five, it's five, it's definitely five. So that's one, two, three, four, and then five. Oh, this might be wrong. Crikey, this might actually be wrong. That is not good. Just keep going, just keep going. I have faith. One, two, so this is, this is three twos again. Yeah, it has to be three twos. I'm running out of bloomin' dirt. It's not good. Um, one, two, three, and then it's a fourer. One, two, three, four, and then it's nine. Oh, it is, it's perfect. Excellent. So one, two, three, four. So this is four, one, two, three, four, actually five, six, seven, eight, nine. So technically there should be one, two, three, four on both sides. One, two, three, four. I don't know why I'm double checking, but yeah. See, there you go. It connected perfectly. So this thing is definitely 100% gonna be as centered as possible. Gonna make sure I'm gonna do one more loop on camera, then I'll do the other side off camera. But yeah, as I said, link is in the description. You shouldn't get lost if you're building this thing at home, which is fantastic. Um, yeah, so, oh, thank God. Yeah, last time I built one of these, oh, yeah, it was lopsided. It, trust me, once you built it and you look at it and you realize the whole thing's lopsided, it is a, it's that feeling, that gut feeling, you know, you just built something huge. Like this whole big dome thingy majig that I'm going to be building on top of this, that is a lot of work. That is not a five minute job. You know, that is going to be like a two, three hour job off camera and it is a pain in the bottom. And plus I haven't got enough red wool. As I, I've stated that already to you guys. I definitely do not have enough red wool for it. So, you know, I'm gonna have to go start farming some more red dyes. And that sun's going down, isn't it? Crikey. We might wanna go put some, um, one, two, three, four, and it's five, and better get some more red wool. Dirt. Ah, oh, I guess I'm going to be switching over to um, wood stacks for a bit. That's okay. That's fine. Um, yeah, good stuff, good stuff. I'm going to have to cut, come cut those out later. That is fine. People are like, that's dodgy data. That's dodgy. I don't want to get off of here right now. I'm on a roll. I am on a roll today getting this work done so one two three and then it's a four -er. see once you get the pattern in your head of building these round circles it's quite easy <laughs> very it's quite oh, yep same thing perfect guys perfect all right one two three four double check that one two three four five six seven eight nine Perfect. See, it is it is perfectly centered. That is how I've made it perfectly centered. Perfect. All right. So what we're going to quickly do before, before, well, before anything nasty spawns, torches, key torches, 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 just go crazy with torches. All right. Oh, not there. Because trust me, when you're building large objects like this, they will spawn. And, and being up in the air, they will spawn. So don't don't be hesitant to put torches all over the place. Especially when you're working at night time, it is a bad, bad, bad idea to... Yeah. Um, see, I can't put torches on there right now because I'm going to bring it up. I'm definitely going to bring that up. Okay, so one last wing. Because this is actually... I'm going to have a white floor... Sometimes I use black wool on the bottom because underneath mushrooms are normally black with lines, like white lines, but I don't have any ink sacks to make black wool right now. I could go slaughter them, I suppose, but yeah. Um, I'm just going to use a black bottom and change it out later and put some stripes in there. 
Um, it doesn't have to be one-on-one scale. Oh, it's a realistic mushroom. Yeah, no, 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 no. It just got to look like a giant mushroom, pretty much. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get the rest, this this whole half of loop on. I just wanted to show that it was all in line. It's going to be perfect. I'm going to continue that thing right around. No problem. And holy smokes, look at those nasties. Red, Mr. Red, look down there. There's your favorite creepers. <laughs> Okay, so, alright, I'm going to get back to work. I will be right back in a sec. Well, it'll be a second for you guys. It won't be for me. <laughs> Alrighty then, guys. I am back, and I... That's it. That's the amount of wool I've used. Check it out. Have a look, see. Oh, she's coming along good. Uh, I don't know what she looks like from the ground, because I haven't got down from here so far. Um, uh, once the floor's in, I can go ahead and remove the dirt on the sides, because remember, the dirt is just there, so you can easily, you know, place the blocks as you go up, so, yeah, it's, it's coming along, um, yeah, as I said, 46 block red wool left, I got plenty of white, and white back at base, but not, not anything else, so I've got to do some more, um, I need some more red dye, and I've got to start converting those over and finish off this. It's when it's not too far off. I would say another good hour and a half before I'm completely finished the 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 top off of this thing, and then obviously I got to fill the floor in, and that's it. So let's go ahead, get down and hit off here, and uh, have a quick squeeze. Might as well be careful of any nasties. Okay, so she should be cut like taking shape at the moment. Yeah, see, it is taking shape, guys, and she's dead centered, which which is what I really, really wanted, and 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 I got. So I'm I'm pretty pleased with that. But there's not much more I can do today. As I said, I'm completely out of uh, completely out of red wool. Um, the time the next episode comes up, I will have the top finished. As I said, the uh, the measurements for the round of uh, the the thing on the top is in the description. If I have a place in the description, just give me a yell. I'll update that link as soon as possible, but I'm pretty sure I'll remind myself to do that. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching episode 130. Join me for episode 131, where hopefully this is done and we can go ahead and start putting in um, some of the interior. So that should be very interesting. All right, guys, I'll catch you all later.